Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dash here with Gamepedia's very own Everything You Need to Know About Weapons in Dying Light. In Dying Light, your weapon is everything. To survive against the hordes of undead or bandits, you want to have a tricked out arsenal at your disposal. Now, there are a ton of options when it comes to weapons. However, they are generally broken down into four distinct categories. Close range or melee, mid to long range, firearms, and thrown weapons slash explosives. Now, melee weapons, they're your bread and butter. You will primarily find melee weapons around, whether from zombies as drops, as part of loot, bought from vendors, and many other places. The key to a good melee weapon is upgrading them. To do so, press I for inventory, and there you can select any of your weapons. This will show you their damage, durability, handling, and how many free upgrade slots they have available. To upgrade a weapon, press F6 or click the Upgrade button. This will allow you to upgrade base damage, handling and durability and makes your weapon much more valuable. To create new weapons, head over to the Blueprints tab. On the left you'll see blueprints available or unlocked, which are found in your travels. On the right you can see the base weapons and the components needed to craft said weapon, as well as their abilities, whether enhanced base stats, elemental damage or things like causing enemies to bleed or even a combination of a few. To get the necessary components, you'll need to find the base weapons and materials. Materials can be found by looting them throughout the world, zombie drops, be bought at stores, and if you break down existing weapons by pressing Z, which is a dismantle function. This will also assist you in repairing weapons. Repairing weapons is vital. If you allocate so many resources into upgrading them, of course you want to maintain them. You can repair the item by pressing R outside of the menu or by pressing C in the item menu. And you can see how many repairs the item has left bottom right. So unfortunately, they cannot be infinitely repaired. Mid to long range weapons are all upcoming, except for the grappling hook, which can be unlocked at survival rank 12 and helps you traverse across rooftops. Mid to long range weapons will consist of a short bow, long bow and crossbow. Firearms. Now, firearms consist of pistols, shotguns, assault rifles, and upcoming sniper rifles. Firearms can generally be found around the map, usually a safe bet is in the back of police cars, which are usually locked with a medium to very hard lock, so take some lock picks. Although firearms are incredibly powerful, long-ranged weapons, they're also loud, which inevitably attracts unwanted zombie attention, which shows on the minimap, and they also cannot be upgraded. Now, grenades are small explosives that can be thrown by hand, make a lot of noise and have a lot of splash damage, although you can get different versions such as non-harmful portable safe zone flares, firecrackers and throwing stars. These are usually your second line of defense for a quick distraction or a getaway move. If you truly want to know the game that is Dying Light, head on over to dyinglight.gamepedia.com which gets updated as the game does. Also, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and feel free to share the video if it helped you out at all. Thanks for watching and bye for now.